Hey, what's up my peoples? I'm back again with another review and this time we have the Transformers Robots in Disguise Warrior Class Grimlock. So here we are and there he is and first and foremost as always we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So we'll move Grimlock to the side or to the side and he had a nice big picture of Grimlock right there, Robots in Disguise. You got a uh, picture of the figure right there, Grimlock, Hasbro, Transformers! Sorry, I had to do that. <laughs> on this side, Grimlock. On this side, nothing. On the back here, you got your obligatory product shots and your instructions. And you have, if you have the app, you can scan the toy, unlock stuff in the game. Hooray for that. And on the bottom, just nothing. Your cross sells, and that's basically a four. Pack the packaging. So let's set this back down here, and and we'll move right along to Grimlock, and this is a pretty cool toy. I mean, people have been cri very critical about this thing, and they still are, but in all honesty, I think this is a really good toy, because, I mean, you get from point A to point B and not worry about having to deal with... A crap ton of panels and tabs and all the other kind of BS, so, um, I mean, I don't mind, I, I don't care how you get from point A to point B, like MGO, you know, I, I honestly don't, just as long as you can, it works, but, um, yeah, here you have Grimlock, and, um, let's get in close here on that very cool dino noggin, there's that dino that dino noggin. As you can see, he has some, I want to say gold up here on his head. He got some silver going around his face. Got the blue eyes on both sides there. And, um, got some more of that gold right here in the shoulder vents, I guess. I, I guess that's what those are called, but anyway. He got his dino arms. Got his dino his dino feet in the tail. So, um, yeah, you got some, some, um, some black and some green. And as far as articulation goes, um, you can open and close his mouth, so you can go nom 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 Grimlock. <laughs> I don't know, that's what Mgo did, but, um, the arms are on a ball joint, like you can get some extremely slight inward and outward, but it's, you know, more of a rotational joint. His legs can go forward and back. They can rotate a 360, can they? Yeah, you just gotta be careful of the, um, the arms, the dino arms, so I can try to... You can... And I rotate it all the way around, either way. But and you have outward movement that goes that far, and inward that goes a little, um, a little, and it, and it does move in a little bit as well. And you have a swivel right here, and a bit of a knee joint. And I won't say if you bend his knees back as you can hear those clicks are really really tight or really really loud as opposed to when you bend it back so and um there is a um there was a QC issue where basically if you weren't careful with Grimlock's um well in dino mode knees but in robot mode arms you know these joints right here, if you weren't careful uh, with them, they basically snap apart and you'd break it. So just do a just be careful. And there is a mod, but I don't know where it is or anything. So I guess do a Google search of Transformers Robots in Disguise Grimlock mod. I, I'm sure you you can find it. But anyway, um. Yeah, that's pretty much it for his dino mode. I mean, he's very cool.
but um, just for a quick little comparison, for giggles, here he is with Lightning McQueen from the Precision series. And as you can see, he is definitely bigger than a car. So there you have that. And here he is with Warrior Class Optimus Prime, which I did not transform into truck mode, so that's you know something I should have done, but oh well. I mean, you know what? Let me do this real quick. I mean, it's such a simple transformation. I could do it while I'm talking, but yeah, next time I'll be a little more prepared, so sorry. Sorry. I should have planned ahead, but, um, anyway, how are you guys? How, how, are, you, how are you guys doing? You know, it's, uh, if you're wondering how I'm doing, um, then I am fine, although I hate being 18 because then I can't, um, go to my, um, youth groups with my friends because uh, some of my friends that are still there are younger than I am and you know it, it sucks it does suck but um it's funny um when I went up there last or this last Wednesday I um I did see my friends but I couldn't stay because obviously I'm I'm technically an adult. I'm a young adult. Which, damn, I wish that wasn't... I wish it wasn't, but whatever. But uh, anyway, um... Basically, I, um... I couldn't stay because I was trying to talk to someone about volunteering and... Yada, yada, yada. Um, we were dropping my brother off even though he didn't want to stay because he didn't know anyone. If I would have known, I'd have introduced him to some of my friends, so <sighs> yeah, I'm I'm not all that bright sometimes, but anyway, I got him transformed. Hey, we got him transformed, but <laughs> here he is with here's Grimlock with Optimus Prime. And this this scales. He's definitely bigger than a truck, so we have that. Now, let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's. So, first, what you want to do, you want to take the legs, untap them, and kind of bring them forward. And as you bring them f uh, forward and in, you want to rotate the dino arms back. Like so. And then just... Um, okay. And then just tab that in, and it will tab in very securely, so. Second verse, same as the first. Just bring that up. As you're bringing this up, bring the arm back, and just tab this in, and there you go. There's step one done. And, um, next we will work on the tail, which will become the legs, so you want to bring it down a little, like that. Split the legs, and you want to slide these back pieces out like so. Hold on, let me do this off camera because I don't want to hurt myself or, you know, bump the camera. <sighs> ah, got him. Yeah, they're really, really tight. Let me see if I can... Oh, this one... This one's easier, so let's show this one off. Basically, what you want to do is you want to take this portion of the tail... I don't know what that was. Um, <laughs> saw something on my finger. Um, take this portion of the tail, slide it, and then bring it down. Bring this down and around. And then, you know, you just... Slide it back in, and it will supposedly tab in 
as you should. Now, be careful if it's really stiff. You may want to push it from here. So, just like, just like that. So, yeah. And then, bring the toes up. Bring the toes up. Now, with this leg, you got to flip the tail in. And basically, there is another half of the tail, although it's really hollow, so... It kind of uh, uh, fills in that gap and makes everything a little more symmetrical. So I dig that. That was smart. But there you have the lower body. Now let's move up to the upper body. If I can get my camera to stay straight. But um, yeah. Bring the dino legs down, which will. Then be the robot arms. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Rotate at the elbow. Flip out the hand. Right there, or right there, and make sure everything's oriented properly. Like so. Rotate around. Flip the hand out. There you go, and take the dino head and just flip it back, and you'll reveal the robot, the robot mode, <laughs> the robot mode head. Sorry, <laughs> but um, there you go. There's Grimlock in his robot mode, and he's a very cool figure. I do like him. Um, you know, he could use some extra paint. I mean, all these robots in disguise figures could use some extra paints, but you know, they're still pretty decent. I mean, they're fun to transform. I will give them that. But, um, I mean, they have, uh, repro, uh, there, there are repro label sticker sets for these. So if you want to, um, get yourself a set and apply them, you can. And, um, I actually recommend doing that because. Like, especially if you don't know how to paint, and if you can't paint worth a crap, and you have to resolve to stickers to um, make them look a lot nicer, then, yeah, I definitely recommend Repro Labels, because it works wonders. And um, my first set was actually... It was actually two sets, actually. It's um, My first sets were um, for uh, Knockout and Ratchet, from the Transformers Prime Robots in Disguise line. And uh, yeah, those were my first two Reaper label sets, and they were fun to apply. They can be a bit stressful every now and then, but you know, you just gotta be patient. And uh, you know, t turn on some music, you know, listen to some jams while you do it. You know, it, you don't have to just do it. You, know, you could also watch TV and do it. Although that would be a little difficult, so I. I I would recommend caution if you decide to watch TV while apply re while applying uh, Reaper label stickers. But anyway, yeah, seriously, Reaper labels works wonders. I mean, it's perfect, <laughs> near perfect. But anyway, here he is with R.I.D. Um, Warrior Prime, and as you can see. Grimlock is a little shorter. So, there you have that. And, um, I'll touch base as to why Prime has this gun in the in his review, which will be next. But, um, there's that. And here he is with, for giggles again, Precision Series Lightning McQueen. As you can see, definitely bigger than the car. <laughs> Definitely, definitely bigger than a car, so. But, um, yeah, he's really cool. I do like Grimlock, um, and you can find him at, uh, you can find him at retail, because he's just, he's pretty much everywhere, but, um, before I forget, let's go over his articulation, um, so he has a swivel head. Which he, he'll look side to side about that far, both ways. 
just because, you know, stuff will bump into um, each other. But, I mean, that's really about the range of movement you need in the head. Uh, I do wish you can look up and down, though, but it's okay. Um, the arms can rotate a full 360. They can hinge in or outwards that far and inwards a little bit. You also have a swivel at the elbow. You have a hinge at the elbow. Um, you don't really have any movement. You do not really have any... Uh, you don't really have any movement in the wrist. Unless you use that transformation joint to hinge them inward. So. A little unfortunate. Nothing at the waist. Legs can go forward. That far. Can go back. That far can go out. He can go outwards that far and do the full splits. Although the splits hurt. <laughs> and you have a knee bend that bends in that far, so you get some cool walking poses. And there's nothing really at the toes, but if you want to count the downward movements for transformation, then there you go. But um. Yeah, like I said, very cool figure. I do like him. Um, like I said, fun to transform, and he's not too uh, complex. Like, he's simple, but he still looks like his animation model, which is really, really cool. I do uh, like him. And um, pretty much all the paint apps that are revealed in um, robot mode or in dino mode, except for the head sculpt that's getting on that. Very nice head sculpt. Got some of that goldish kind of color for the faceplate, and then you got the blue eyes. And if you have the app and you want to scan the toy, there you go. Free scan on me. You're welcome. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for Grimlock. And um, I'll be back with um, Optimus Prime from this uh, line of Warrior Class figures. And um, I will have to mention that uh, there is a mod for Prime. But um, I'm feeling a little hungry, so I might get a snack before I review Prime. But um, but yeah, there is the Transformers Robots in Disguise Warrior Class Grimlock. And just real quick, real quick, and then I'll go. <laughs> but um, if you're wondering why these are called Warrior Class figures, then um, it's basically, you know, basically a kid's deluxe figure. So, you know. Anyway, um, there you have Grimlock, and I'm, I'm really going to go now. I'm going to go get a snack, and I'm going to go, re and then I'm going to bring Prime in, and we're going to review him, so, uh, you know, but again, there you go, there's Grimlock, and, um, I'll see you in the next review.